like and subscribe right now, or this spider will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. The animal kingdom is filled with insane reproductive realities. Humans have discovered some, understood some, and some more are still boggling our little minds. So sit up straight to watch some of the most unusual births captured on camera that shocked the whole world. Colossal Kiwi. Bird or mammal? We still don't know about it. But one thing is for sure, kiwis are known for laying one of the largest eggs in the world. And a normal kiwi egg takes up to 25% of the mother's body mass and is six times bigger than the ordinary eggs. Just like most of us, they are not socially interactive and stay isolated all their lives, especially during pregnancy, because the hatching can take more than 80 days. Red birth. What's creepier than a bunch of crabs? Millions of them. Start of the rainy season also brings the crab migration from the forests to the coasts of the Indian Ocean. The males wait outside their burrows to attract the females. Once they've made it, the females need to stay inside the burrows for a couple of weeks after laying 10,000 eggs each. And then they return back to the land once the eggs have hatched in seawater. And after a month of staying in the water, the babies finally return to the dry land snail giving birth. When it comes to laying eggs, snails are surprisingly fast. Watch how this snail is laying multiple eggs without any visible exertion. I must say, this snail nailed it. But it is quite normal in their breed, as each snail can lay up to 80 eggs at a time. But wait, that's not even the craziest part. They don't require a mate when it comes to reproduction as they are quite self-sufficient in it. Octopus. The reason why you won't see any octomoms around in the ocean is because none of them can survive the birth. So what basically happens is that both male and female octopuses mate during the season. And once they've mated, the female lays the eggs after about two to three months. But then the bizarre process starts because once the eggs have been laid, the mother will instantly stop eating, and there's nothing that will entice her to start eating again. Then she will eventually starve to her end while taking care of her eggs that are not properly hatched yet. Jawfish. Just like the seahorses, male jawfish are supposed to carry the eggs in their mouths till they are hatched in a process known as mouth brooding. Other than their relatively big jaws, this is probably one of the main reasons why they are called jawfish. So what happens is that the mother lays eggs on the ground, and then the male swallows those clutches in and keeps them inside his mouth for over a month. Till then, the eggs feed on their father while the father is on a complete hunger strike due to his mouth being filled with his growing babies. And once they are hatched, the male releases the eggs one by one into the seawater. Wasp and Spider Don't judge it by its size. This female wasp can make a tarantula run for his life, called hawk wasps because of their hunting abilities. When they are ready to lay eggs, they will not look for a male wasp, but instead will seek out a spider and watch how after a long chase for the spider, it is stinging the poor creature with its long and strong stingers. And when the spider is completely paralyzed because of the sting, it's the right time to drag the infested spider to a suitable temperature for hatching and laying eggs in it. Scattered Spider Babies. The video shows how dozens of baby spiders scatter from the back of their mother when a few drops of water fall on them. Female wolf spiders are known as the most doting mothers. They carry the eggs on their back and don't release them even after these eggs have hatched for several days. Feeding from their mother's body, the spiderlings enjoy their early days of life riding on their mother's back. The females stay conscious of not dropping the babies on the ground. Baby on a tree. Living on a tree is quite understandable, but giving birth while hanging on a tree? Well, that's something only sloths can do. 
The video shows a sloth giving birth, which happens after a gestation period of almost six months. The mothers intentionally move to the lower branches to avoid the fall of the newborn. And even when the baby is born, they stick to the mother's belly for another six months and grasp it when she is moving from one tree to the other. Spitting Birth Darwin frogs have the weirdest birth procedure. When a female frog lays eggs, her mate keeps a closer look at them till they hatch. And by keeping a closer look, I mean that the mate will swallow these eggs and will store them inside his stomach, with some filling up his entire mouth. The father will then starve for eight weeks until the frogs are born. And when the time is right, the father literally coughs the grown up babies from his mouth. Just imagine what would happen if human dads had to go through the same thing. Seahorse. Ah, the seahorses. Who started it all? I mean, the male being pregnant and all that, you know? The video shows how the male is choreographically mating with the female, eventually starting the gestation period, which lasts for about two to four weeks. The male has a small pouch in his belly, which will fill up as the time passes. Watch how the father is releasing more than a thousand fully grown seahorse babies at the same time. Sea Turtles the video shows people gathered around the beach to see hundreds of sea turtles coming out of their nests. So what happens is that the mother sea turtle lays her eggs on the beach and then slowly moves back to the water. The egg incubates under the sand for about 60 days and the turtles will finally make their way up on the surface, taking three to seven days to finally reach up there. They usually come out at night when the moonlight leads them back into the ocean. Dwarf Alligator Though the female gator lays the eggs in quite an ordinary manner, what she does next is quite surprising. When the eggs are hatched after two months, the baby gators make a chirping sound, which alerts the mother about her hatchlings, and she opens the nest for them to crawl out. Once the baby gators are out on the land, their mother's next concern is to take them into the water, as they are not safe on land. Despite having one of the most powerful bites in the world, the mother gator scoops the babies in her mouth and then carefully slides them into the water. Backup Baby We're all living in the year 2022, while the quokkas are living in 2050. Yeah, it's true! The female quokka always has two babies growing in their wombs, but it's nothing like having twins. The other one is actually a backup plan that the quokkas have if something happens to the firstborn. Then they'll give birth to the second baby, but after some time. And if the first baby is born without any complications, the second baby lives in the womb and will be born later. And now let us move on to our subscriber pick of the day. This image was sent to us by one of our subscribers. Similarly, if you ever wish to know more about an image you come across, just send it on over to us. Who knows, we might even feature it in one of our videos. This picture is of a female horse, Destiny. What makes Destiny so special is her giving birth to twins twice in her life. Although it is quite a rare phenomena for horses to have twins in the first place, Destiny shocked her owners when she gave birth to another set of twins. The owner says that she was quite concerned about the extreme size of Destiny but she never thought that Destiny would be carrying twins, as she never showed any signs of it. Destiny is currently living in the lands of Australia with her babies, which are surprisingly healthy and fit. Alpaca's Baby This alpaca shocked the owners because of its skinny body, but it turned out that's just how baby alpacas are born. An average Kriya weighs about 18 pounds and has small spots on his body at the time of birth. But with the passage of time, the spots hide behind its hairy texture, and the alpaca finally fluffs out at the age of about six months. And the female is ready to reproduce at the age of 12 months. Non-stop labor. Now, I know how a single aphid can be fatal to your veggies because of their insanely increasing birth rate. Aphids are those little plant insects with unusual characteristics. 
a mother aphid can give birth to about six or more babies at a time. And unlike other insects laying eggs, most of the babies born are already young. But that's not even the craziest part. A mother aphid doesn't even need to mate for getting pregnant, because aphids are born pregnant and can give birth to their own clones in just a week. See you next time!